my brother has been killed by you know by police about um, because protection you know when when you protest back home that's illegal it's illegal for us so from there I, will, I run away I run away from that beginning you don't move because you want to you move in because you you know if you stay there your life is to be in danger because you already lost someone you love your your brother and the next the next target maybe is there to be you if you're still living there but i don't move like everyone i move the poor way the way you just had inside the cargo to move the country when i moved to brazil uh, it's it, it been very very difficult for me sleeping on the street anyway the first two months two three months i've been sleeping on the street when I, I moved to England, I've been hasting and after hasting, they moved me to Leicester. Leicester, they moved me to Leeds. Leeds, they moved me to Plymouth. So I've been like, I'm tourist, so visiting small city in England. When they sent me here, but the first week, I go in, in a salon link and I see, wow, there is very different day again. Too many nationality. All people go coming everywhere in the world. There, and from there I say, okay, I want to work like like volunteer if you can. I think he's a semi-professional footballer in this country before he he had to go, and um, so he's not to himself as justice. So he comes along and you know he's an inspiration to the guys, and they look at him and they see where he is now. He's got a family. He's also got a great job as well that he, he loves. Um, so it's an inspiration that them guys can look to achieve. Most people won't be aware that asylum seekers are not allowed to work and they only get 36 pounds a week to live on. So that is, there's not a lot you can do on that. So you're actually struggling to find things to do. So when somebody says, would you like to come and do this? Oh, it's like a stampede because people uh, don't have enough to fill their day with. Uh, they don't have enough money to go anywhere, they're not allowed to work. So when somebody offers you the chance to do something that you really, really love, you grab it with both hands. Some of them like destitute people, they don't have where to sleep, they don't have food. And I need to give them good direction where they can help them to have some food and place to sleep. This Christmas there's going to be a blue box appeal uh, and it's for all the different communities that Everton uh, interacts with for people to put things in the box and actually give somebody a present. Uh, whether you want to look at that as a gesture or a hand of friendship, it's a, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm.